Up until then, I'd pretty much been reduced to zero hit points, or almost zero hit points, like, almost every single fight until then. 
and like narrowly missed a few hits here and there. But it's just like suddenly when it came time to rumble with this big troll, it's like I'm gonna curse it, then I'm going uh, then in my next turn I'm gonna like branding smite it and, and I crit. So yeah. I think it was a total of uh, like 57 points of damage in one attack. Jam was not happy. Hello everyone and welcome to the stream. I am Razim and this is Iron Fang Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, Blue Queen, if you'd be so kind as to recap the last game, please. Very much so. So, last session, I don't even know what date this was, uh, January 7th, we started, it was a pretty calm night. Rembrandt, Rembrandt waking up first, he went to the bar bartender and had a secret moment with the previous night. It was a conversation about being paid. After that ordeal, we head south towards a ruin where we had a quest that we got much earlier on to kill some zombies and undead. And while we were there, we uh, freed a bunch of elk meat to the nearby town Salelo when we uh, met a leathersmith who turned some of the horns we collected from our camp into a nice helmet. With the power of plot speed, we suddenly arrive at the ruins, faced by a medi mediocre amount of crawling hands, which we pretty much annihilated, and with us being overconfident, we started running around screaming in the ruins, trying to attract everything's attention. The end. Yeah, somehow I was sneaking, I, I net 20 that sneaking while running around screaming my head off around a zombie. Somehow. It was, was a pretty short fun. session. Well, Rise Roth, it's on you. Indeed. Hear me up. Azeroth? So give me a moment. I'm having issues swallowing my food. Ugh. Anyways. Um. Well, after you guys have taken out the last zombie that was there. The feeling of cold could be felt emanating from further down the hallway. I, uh... Nothing seems to be coming at you guys for the current time, but it is starting to gradually get Wasn't there a map? No, there was not. Huh. Alright then. Then I guess we will advance down the hall. Well, as you get closer down the hallway, who has the highest passive perception? Uh, you can see that in the party sheet. Uh, passive perception looks like it would be Rembrandt, who isn't here tonight. Nope, but he has to be controlled either way. <laughs> And I can't just make him go away. Okay, well, 
go into PCs and right click on him and clear owner and I'll take care of him for this tur game. All right. Done. Okay. So what does he say? Well, Rembrandt actually is hearing some sort of chanting up ahead as you're getting closer to a wooden door that doesn't seem to be old. It doesn't seem to be what? Old. Oh. Hmm. Well, you point that out to everybody, of course. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to... I don't know what I want to do here, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Inspect the door. You find it's a door. That is wooden. Looks pretty new. Right. Why would there be a new door down here? Well, only one way to find out. Kalani's gonna try to open the door. You find the door is locked. Well, I guess we have to break the door down. <laughs> no, R Rembrandt can pick locks. Or, you know, we we could just knock. Or I could knock real hard by charging through it. I like Kato's idea. <sighs> but it's a new door. You know how expensive those are? Eh, go for it. <laughs> go for it. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna charge the door. It is anyone going to be standing back or no i'll stand back i won't oh rip you slam into the door it jiggles but doesn't get broken The chanting does not seem to have stopped, either. Well, good news, I don't think they heard us. I'm gonna walk up to the door. Hey, did you guys hear us? No, I'm kidding. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try and charge into the door with, uh... With... Alrighty, Kato, roll with advantage. Wow, I'm getting a low rolls tonight. Yeah, you are. It jiggles harder. It might need just a little bit more of a... Or you could just unlock it. Kato, do you want to unlock it? I think we lost the element of surprise already. I mean, I'm terrible at lock picking, but if somebody wants to try to unlock mm -hmm. it, I'll sit here and pout because I couldn't break it down. And then oh, you, you do have break. Rembrandt. Just use your head. Just use your head. <laughs> I tried that. Spikes. It didn't work. No. Use your head. Okay, I'm gonna try to headbutt the door once. No, no, <laughs> just like Rembrandt in there. Jeez. Okay. Kato pouts and sits off to the side. All right. Now, why is so, that? Yeah, I would I would have healed it. You're not supposed to be encouraging her. You can do it, Kato. I believe in you. 
Listen. I mean, I really want to, but I, th I think we should let Rembrandt try since I did slam it pretty hard twice. How about we let him unlock it and then you can slam it open? I mean, I like this idea. Rembrandt's gonna go in and unlock it. He manages to unlock it, making almost next to the noise. I just got the vision of a little itty bitty cat slamming into a door repeatedly. And Pretty each time it's just a little squeak that we hear. <laughs> I mean, that's basically what happened. Uh, uh, an angry ball of fluff that just squeaks when it, it slams into a door and it doesn't break. <laughs> Anyways, door is unlocked. Rembrandt's gonna open it. All right. Once you enter the room, it's dimly lit by candles that are seem to be around a prone form, covered in cloth. It doesn't seem to be moving much past breathing. You see someone in robe in red robes that is on one side and another who is actually holding a book on the other who is in white robes. Upon opening the door, however, you do also see a few zombies. They don't seem to have noticed you, though. How big is the chamber? The, uh, um, the chamber itself is a good 60 feet. They are on the furthest side. Well, Kalani's going to start off with a uh, mana shield. And I suppose there's not much more to do but to charge. Uh, two zooming. zombies would be the closest to you. Alright, shall we roll initiatives then, or... You wanna try and sneak? Uh, I don't know about sneaking so much as just, you know, just going for a surprise round by charging in idea. since they don't know we're here. Like an actual idea. Like a somewhat good idea. I like good ideas. What is your good idea? Well, I can vine whip one into the doorway and we can just funnel them through the door. I don't know, they, they're clearly uh, spellcasters. I'm not sure we want to try and funnel them. Through the doorway? AoE. I guess. Because if they're trying I, to I, funnel I, in there, then, well, we're kind of trapped as well. Well, I mean, how, how big is the doorway? I mean, it's a one-person doorway, but... And and they, they are spell cast they are clearly right? spell casting. I guess so. Just if they have an AoE have spell sight, right? Not necessarily for an AoE, as long as they can see they... where they want it to start. Yep. Quick, put right. out all put out all the lights. When engaging spellcasters, it's best not to be bunched up. Or as far away as possible. Actually, it's better to be closer to them because, you know, they're usually weaker, closer. Yep. But as far as... It's better to just not be bunched up and close to them. They can still kill, hurt us up close, but, you know, 
At least we can. I thought, thought there were zombies close to the door, and those were the ones I was talking about. If we engage the zombies, I'm pretty sure the cultists will have a disagreement with us doing so. Mm -hmm. Which uh, cultist is closest to me? I want to charge one. Neither of them. How far away are they? They, they, they are on the other side of the 60-foot room. side of the 60 foot room. And what's it, what is in this room exactly? What is in this room? Can, can you like give me some descriptions? Is it just um, like the room is chair? kind of bare save for the candles that seem to be around the prone form. There's some old tapestries some old uh, can't think of the name of them at the moment I think they're still technically tapestries the things that usually hang as a banner that's what I was thinking of a banners <laughs> interesting interesting okay uh, there are many? no other doorways there is no windows either so hence the reason for the lights from the uh can and there's two of them there's two of them and two zombies what's the problem with getting close to an occultist with an aoe spell besides it, it, taking damage it, yourself don't they take the risk of also killing themselves they can choose normally where it starts so they can choose to where they are never in yeah i mean ah okay hence why fireball is so nasty because they can just ping it to where it's far enough away from them but still close enough for them yeah <laughs> the problem is more that you don't want to be bunched up we do not want to be bunched up and that's what we will be doing if we pull them to the. Uh, no, I'm not talking about pulling them through hall. the door. I'm not. I'm not talking about that anymore. Uh, I was just curious if we like went up to them, up close to them. Looks like we have to do it from far away, correct? So um, I have feline agility, which allows me to. Uh move double my movement in combat mm -hmm. so can i charge the 60 feet with feline agility to one of the cultists you could all right i was just so... saying neither are closest because they're on us there are symmetrical to either oh uh, okay well i want to charge uh one of them i guess since uh, yeah, because um, it sounds like... And I want to use Guidance on Kato. I would say we just take a surprise round and get off as many attacks as we can before they get a reaction. That's what I'm kind of planning here. Alright, so I'm going to get angry and charge one of the cultists. I'd say we roll initiatives right. and let's see what order we're going to run through. Get that out of the way. All right, well. Well, when you get within that, uh... 30 feet, the, the one that's using the chant does not stop, but the rest look at you. It seems you have tripped something. You can continue your charge, but they are no longer surprised. Okay. So, roll initiative? Yep. Mmm. Wonderful, too. Oh, my goodness. I mean, you can't really fail initiative, just like you can't really 
nat 20 no it's just kind of amusing because of how many people are going before a lot of yeah there we go set the mood because technically you guys are in a dimly lit air Well, since I already started my charge, do I get to get my mm -hmm. attack on one of the cultists? Alright, cool. They just are no longer surprised, which means any benefits you get from a surprise round are null and void. What? Totem spirit. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking something else. Um, which is the cultist that's chanting? That would be the white robed one. Do I that hit? That is indeed a hit. Ooh. Ouch. Okay, I went smack. Occultist go squish now. A wonderful job. Oh, Kalani, you're first. Go Kalani, I believe in you. Alright, Kalani's gonna <laughs> charge forward and attack one of the zombies. Alrighty. That is a hit. Oh boy. And that. Almost there. Alright, that's it for me. <laughs> so, after being hit, the white robed cultist will actually stop his chant. Look towards you, Kato. And then... Oh, hold on. The modifiers are not set correctly. Oh boy, that's fun. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not good. Which kind of sucks, it doesn't auto-take in the modifiers. Well, he is going to attempt to charm you, Kato. Oh boy. Uh, it says wisdom zero, so I'm like, um, I need to do calculation. Thought it would have auto done it, but apparently not. What are you trying to do? He is doing a charm person. Okay. And what modifiers are you after? Yeah, me a moment. Just because he said have to do calculation. Yeah, um, so Kato, roll a wisdom save. Alrighty. That does not make it. Well, she has guidance. She can add a plus four to that. Or uh, not plus four, one D. Yeah, so I'm gonna roll a D4 to add a D4 to that. Alrighty. Does not make it still. Oh. Well, rip me. You actually needed a 15. 
Rest in peace is me. Arm just means that you do not attack him. That's all. Yep. That's fine. I'll just smash the other cultist. Yeah, exactly. But that and... guy is pretty cute, though. I mean, he is a very <laughs> cute cultist. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually human, which is amusing. I'm a cute one, too, right? Now that you're close enough, you can actually see the red road one is actually a teeth. I'm going to roll a hot or not die to see if I am attracted to them. <laughs> I find him very attractive. <laughs> Which one is that? The tiefling. That's the white robe? The red robe. The white robe one is the human. Uh, Kalani, the zombie, is going to go for a slam on. Oh, wow. I actually rolled high. That was... What is it? Uh... The succubuses. No... But they are closer to being essentially like demons and such, is what they're usually. Why did I think they're Kevin... kind of like devils, basically? Why did I think they were like halflings? Or very small? What are you talking about? Tiefling. Oh. They're kind of a. Small. They're like, yeah, they're low level uh, devils or demons along those lines. I forget which. Holy crap, Rembrandt has a lot of weapons. Oh, let's see. And spells. And other abilities. Because he is this amalgamation of 30 different things. Okay, just three, but still! My complaints remain. Yes, sir. Rembrandt will come help Kalani. That's a hit. There's the rapier and sneak attack. And now to roll a thing. DC 13 con save. It just barely makes it as one of its arms gets lopped off. Is that all Rembrandt's doing? The red robed one oh, will wait. Act... What? Uh I think he normally dual wields, doesn't he? I don't remember. I know he's got a dagger here, as well as a rapier. A lot of rogues do do short swords in one hand, dagger in the other, and make an off-handed. Yeah, let me double check. Okay, never mind. We're good. The rapier isn't light, so he couldn't dual wield those anyways. Uh, 
The red rib one is going to frostbite Kato. Um, let me double check. Make a constitution save, please. Alrighty. Wow, these dice do not like me today. Uh, do you have advantage on constitution saves or no? When you're reading? No, nah, just strength. Okay, uh, you now have disadvantage. Um, you still have guidance. Oh, I do that, still have guidance. That's a one time not. use. Yeah, it's on the next, uh, check of your choice. And you have disadvantage on your next weapon attack roll. So because I have advantage typically, uh, does that mean I just roll normal? Yep. Okay, that's not terrible. He is going to make a move to move about... Uh, 30 feet away to the left, further away from you. The, you do not get it, be, get an attack of opportunity. Wait, no, wait. Uh, no, he won't be moving because he would technically get an attack of opportunity on him. Um, yeah, he'll just be standing there. Okie dokie. Kato, your turn. Why do you have it? advantage on attacks because or don't i with my um rage or no never mind it's just on strength checks yeah so yeah never just... mind i have just yeah unfortunately that is a miss oh Aww. He just couldn't stand his beauty. I know, he was he was too gorgeous. What can I say? I got a thing for tieflings. Shreska, you're up. I am gonna uh, I'm gonna cast Eldritch Blast on the Altus White Robe. That is a hit. Oh. I deal seven damage. Ow. Click. All right, where is this red robe, motherfucker? I'm gonna kick uh, his ass. Right in front of Kato. I'm gonna kick his ass. I'm gonna rage. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to. Except this is getting in the way. There it is. Spirit Totem. And Hawk Spirit. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to use my Hawk Spirit. So I guess that's in there with us. And I'm going to run up to the red-robed cultist and punch him square in the face. You're going to punch the red-robed cultist in the face. Yes. Is Why are you weird? punching? Love makes us do crazy things. <laughs> I mean, you'll only do one damage unless you're... I don't remember if, uh... I don't remember if the Eric Kroka gets a natural weapon attack, but... Technically, it's up talons, to you. I have talons, actually. I have talons. I am proficient with unarmed strikes, which deal 1d4 slashing damage on it. Okay. And I'm going to use the Hawk Spirit to... Or, I guess, my reaction 
to get advantage on my attack. So, how do I... Where is my punch? Punch! Or do I just roll strength? Uh, I'd have had to manually add it. Uh, or you can technically. Uh, Rise Roth, go ahead and release his character and I'll do that real quick. Please. Uh, click, you'll have to go up into the upper left and right click on your portrait and go to uh, release. Done. Oh. Uh, Angel, uh, Angel, you're Digi, aren't you? I, I can never remember. If you are Digi, you have all of them, practically. <laughs> all right, let's see abilities. It won't take too long. Just one moment. All right. Uh, go ahead and release it. Back to him, uh, Rise Roth. Interesting. Done. Is it though? I'm I'm looking for him. I don't. Uh... Need to. Close the PC's menu and open it back up. There we go, I got it. So I have advantage on this. Oh. So... That's, That's a, a uh, nat 20. But it wasn't rolled on anyone, so that's one of the issues. But I don't have a... Oh. oh shit. Combat tracker. Feels bad. It does feel bad. And that's not how you roll advantage anyways. <laughs> how do you do advantage with... Oh, do I you just click, click advantage? And click then... advantage... <laughs> okay. Still 19 and it hits. Oh, it feels bad. I would have gotten my first net 20. <laughs> Wait, why does it do minus one? Oh, strength. Because it's based off your strength. strength. Oh, well. So you can yeah. potentially do no damage. No, there is a minimum of one damage for every hitting attack. You just uh, have so to manually. Negative? <laughs> Thankfully, no. I hit. I hit them so weakly they regen health. I mean, they could be so resistant to something it could, I guess, heal them. I don't know. Uh that is uh, damage absorption. Oh, that too. So the last zombie that's in this turn order is gonna try and make its way over to Cleek. It cannot fully go do so. <laughs> I'm still so upset I just missed that now. Kalani! Uh, 
Kalani is going to... Well, let's see. Kato seems to be having trouble over there, so he's going to throw a mana shield on her. What did we decide for the mana shield as far as... Do I get to... Uh, you would lose it. You would lose your own because you technically don't have the uh, map. Well, no, I can do it on multiple people. I was more referring to my action. Oh. Um... Okay, yeah, it's an action. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's my turn. Thanks for the shield, Kalani. Kalani then wants their shield back. Now, now just make sure you, uh, you know, don't get hit too much. Kato salutes to Kalani. Rizeroth? Yeah, I'm figuring out which to use. Not to mention, like, none of the things are set up properly, so that's the one issue. He is going to attempt to use Eldritch Blast on Oh yeah, that's a miss even with a bonus. <laughs> Bring it on. Uh, he is actually going to walk away 30 feet, since no one is a threat around him, since Kato is charmed. Bye, cutie. This is the human, by the way. <laughs> well, I'm charmed, fine. so I obviously find him cute. Yeah. This zombie is going to attempt to slam at Rembrandt. Start the game already! That is a critical hit on Rembrandt. I say no. <sighs> Let me get the deck. You bastard. I saw you like it, Deck. <clears throat> I don't like it when the when the DM gets the card. <laughs> Unless I'm the DM. That is great. Alright. Uh let's see. Uh bludgeoning? Stunning blow. Uh, make a constitution saving throw. He fails. On a failed save, you are stunned until the end of your next turn. Uh, it would be normal damage. Alrighty.
Oh, look, it's Rembrandt's turn. <laughs> well, he can't do anything, so. And then the sun is, like, gone, isn't it? Yeah. Or until the zombie's turn. Oh, until the end of his next turn, so he, it's gone now. Uh, the Red Robed Cultist is going to use Yeah, uh, he's gonna attempt to charm person Cleek. I hate you. Roll a wisdom save, please. You make it. I think I hate him even more. <laughs> That's probably true. Uh, there's nothing he can do as a bonus. Yep, nothing he can do as a bonus. Kato, it's your turn. Alright, red robed cultist, you may be very attractive, but I saw you hitting on Cleek here, and I can't have that. So, I'm gonna have to smack you. That is a miss. Sigh. You actually <laughs> missed by one. Of course I did. Oh, Shreska. Hello. Do I do the thing. I you do the hit. Uh, do the kill. Hey, he's unconscious. Or dead. Who knows? Do the thing, Cleek. Cleek, do, do the thing. I'm doing the thing. What thing am I doing? <laughs> Accurate to whose turn it is. Feels like there should be battle music somewhere. Yeah, then where's all of our music to? It's quiet. That better? I can't hear that. I don't know why I expected the uh, the Star Wars bar. Can I hold my attack? You can. I'm going to attack him with Kato. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> He's holding his turn to attack with Kato. Uh, let me rephrase that. The way How hold... am I attacking? Okay, the way holding an action works. You have to specify what exact action you will take and what will trigger that action. When and if Kato goes to attack the red-robed cultist, I am going to attack the red-robed cultist. Now, I also want to ask, are you trying to achieve anything with this, or are you just wanting to do extra, or do a little bit of extra damage on top of Kato's attack, or... Because there is also what is called a help action, where you can literally uh, distract the cultist so Kato gets advantage on her next attack. 
Sounds good to me. I like. I, I'm just letting you know <laughs> of your options here. <laughs> I think I think I'll do the the distraction one. Okay. Because otherwise you kind of lose this turn, like you lose this round and then you get put to the bottom of the initiative order. I think is the. No, that's not what happens. It's just there's no point in doing that. It, it, you just go ahead and attack and there's no reason to wait for Kato's attack because it's not going to give her advantage or you advantage or extra damage or anything. It's literally just like you both attack. No, it's just, yeah, no, it's just, I guess, I don't know, it's just fun. And keep in mind also that technically all of these actions are happening at the same time. Yes. So, just Isn't letting you know. Is a single turn like only three seconds? A single turn, it, all of these turns are happening in the same set of six seconds. Yeah, it's six seconds per turn, right? Per round. Per round. Wow. So, all of us, everything we've done happened in the same six seconds. So, in real time, it feels more like an hour. Welcome to D&D. <laughs> <laughs> well, where, five D &D hours or, uh... of, where five hours of travel takes five minutes and a five-minute battle takes five hours. Yep, uh, sounds about right. Also, if you don't listen to the Big Bats monologue, you're probably going to die. See, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that, that help thing. Help action, how you, how you phrased it. Alrighty. See, so yeah, I'm gonna try and distract the red robed cultists. Alrighty. I mean, do I have to roll anything for that or? No. Okay. You are, know. however, gonna be getting slammed. Okay. Bring it on. That is a hit. Come on. Double damage, I dare you. Max damage? Do it. Double it. I don't care. Kalani! Go Kalani, I believe in you. Alright, sorry guys. Uh, uh, Cleek. Uh, go down to the library. And, uh, click on the PHB Deluxe. Then go to the reference manual. Aha. In the search bar there, type in actions, and you'll see an option called actions in combat. Uh, that will let you know the different actions that you can take while in combat, uh, such as the help or the dodge, which will allow you to make others have disadvantage on attacking you, etc. Just so you know, you know, for future reference. Now you for know. Kalani. I was going to kill Zombie 8 with uh, Rembrandt, but then he got stunned. So Kalani's going to attack Zombie 8. All right. As a hit. <laughs> for a total of nine damage. All right. Zombie eight is dying twice. Now we'll have to do a die a third time. We will see. Now I I didn't notice if it said that, but doing the help action is using my reaction. No, that's an action. Okay. Zombie's other arm gets lopped off, but it seems to be on its last, uh... Legs? Zombie Fortitude. 
Okay, you're going to the timeout corner for that one. I couldn't... There. Oh. Well then. <laughs> Undying zombie point two point up. I couldn't say arms, he had none left. <laughs> Quick, somebody donate for the zombie side. No, it's un it's undead aside, and it now comes in flowery smell, in a flowery scent, you know? I'm sorry I couldn't pronounce your false marketing. Oof. That is not false marketing! Now you're going <laughs> in the timeout corner. There. Can I go in the timeout corner too? <laughs> Not yet. You haven't pissed me off yet. Oh. Uh. Keyword being yet. So are you done? Oh, crap. You distracted me. <laughs> that was your fault. I didn't do anything. Yes, you did. It's all, it's all Roz's fault. It, it's gonna uh, slam with its entire body <laughs> at uh, Rembrandt because it's still technically the closest target to him. Oh, both Kalani and Rembrandt are right next to it. I don't know why it rolled. Oh, it's because it got unconscious. Uh... I mean, I technically when... throwing its whole body at him, Rembrandt could probably easily dodge out of the way. Yes, but it wouldn't impose disadvantage. <laughs> it would impose disadvantage, I'd argue, but okay. Dude, I'd argue that too. Like, how fast can you throw your body at them? Especially when you're a zombie. Anyways. Yeah. They make it clear oh, that oh. zombies are... Slow and it, lethargic. It, it rolled in that one. Oh, perfect. Let's it is see. now on the floor. Crit fail deck. Melee. Or natural attack, I should say. A form. You have disadvantage on melee attacks for 1d8 rounds. Now, which one is the frickin' D8? <laughs> the one with eight sides. That doesn't exactly help when you can't see the... all the... Set. Thank you. Two rounds. There. And there. It is dead. Fantasy Ground says so. How though? How, how, how is he dead? Well, considering he probably would have fallen onto the ground after uh, failing to hit Rembrandt, uh, Rembrandt would just casually step to the side and using the finesse of his rapier, just, you know, chop off its Poke head. it really hard. Uh, no, he just, you know, you know kind of like Zor uh, Zorro, uh, except it would be an R. Uh, right on its okay. neck. Let's see. R yeah, right on its neck. He just does an R, and uh, it's a very deep R, because, you know, zombie flesh is already rotting as is, so, you know, it's like cutting through a warm blade through butter. Mm -hmm. Great, to, great to know you have experience. Yep. So yeah, Rembrandt killed. <laughs> also, Big Mac. Yes. Fuck you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> Hi, Val Corner. This is where I point people to stream text chat and the aggressive love pick. 
หมวดIf you have two sources of advantage and one source of disadvantage, you get advantage. From what I've been, from what all I've read, it wasn't that way. You can count cancel out a disadvantage with another. You can cancel. They just cancel each other out. And so, if you've got a second source of advantage, you get advantage. Yeah, I'm just saying. I where what I've read is that no matter what, it's canceled because you can't double up. On... What's what's the double vantage and triple vantage? Either way, it is up to the DM to decide. That's fair. And the DM says you can't, right? Yes. Okay. Well, the DM so... is dumb. Well, she's just going to get advantage. Kidding. I'm going to distract the cultist. <laughs> in the best way I know. Yelling your head off? With my hands on my hips, I'm going to drop my pants. <laughs> <laughs> if that doesn't get his attention, I don't know what will. It got my attention. <laughs> 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 Oh, Kato does my. not find your butt very attractive. God. <laughs> <laughs> it's all feathers. It's all feathers. The tail feathers, though. Damn. Kato, quick while he's distracted. Are you going to pass the turn to me, or what? Yeah, it's still the, the cultist's turn. Yeah. I actually forgot about that it was. Oh, wow, so the distraction really worked. Except not very well, because it... <laughs> I smack! You do, you hit. Finish him. Oof. There you go. Enjoy that damage. Wow. I'm going to cast Healing Light on Rembrandt. Using my last uh, dice, and I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast on uh, Cultus Red. Do it. It's a hit. And with that, I'm out of the healing dice. And I pass on my turn to Cleek. I'm gonna put my pants back on. That takes your... <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, that takes your action. <laughs> uh, well, the zombie is going to slam at you while you are putting on your pants. Oh, it's not distracted with my butt. It misses. Apparently it is. <laughs> What a wonderful butt. All those tail fabbers, they just, they're so distracting. They're like peacock. Just 
You're doing I so have funny. misspelled that. <laughs> that is indeed a misspell. Uh, Claudie will charge at Zombie 7 and do a jump. You do and a jump. I'm, and I'm going to use my reaction to give him advantage on his attack. Oh, cool. Well then. That hits. It's a good thing you had that advantage. Well then, I mean, that. The advantage could have been the seven. That. Yeah. And that. Ah! <laughs> Such terrible rolls. <laughs> I got okay. It's Kato. She is bad luck. I you got. Guys, I didn't do it. I was doing fine, and then I got next to you, and suddenly I roll like that. Are you it's sure it wasn't? I'm sure. Turn. Are you sure you weren't distracted? I'm sure. I got no interest in bird butt. I don't know. Maybe you should roll to find out and see if you have interest in bird butt. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, that no. See, that's a constitution fail. You failed the check. <laughs> so she's kidding. All right, Rembrandt's gonna char. Gonna go for zombie seven. And probably miss. That's a hit. Oh yeah, they've got really low AC. And I'm next to it, so it does that as well. There! Beat that! Yeah. Beat, uh, let's see, 12 on top of 5. Which is 17. It is dead. Shocking. Rest in pieces. Many pieces. No, that's the first zombie. It's in many pieces. All right. Kalani's gonna go investigate the, uh, the, uh, covered body thing. I wanna go search the cultists. I was just about to say that. But, before I do that, I'm gonna heal up, uh, Kato and Rembrandt. Aw, oh, so kind of you. I'm the going to use, uh, book the Cure Wound. The book, the white. The <laughs> book, the white robed cultist had, uh, went straight to ash when he went down. Aww. Can I keep the ashes? Sure. You reveal under the cover. A black squirrel who seems to be unconscious. Okay, you broke out there. What'd you say? I said you uncover a black squirrel. Unconscious and alive. Uh, I'll cover it back. Actually, does it have any valuables on it? <laughs> He's gonna say he's gonna cover it and then smack it with a hat. <laughs> I mean, if it's got valuables, I'll take those and then cover it back up and say, "All right, it's dead. Uh, let's go, guys." <laughs> oh, no. Oh. oh my goodness. Not really. I'm subscribed. <laughs> You're not even subscribed. Yes, I am. No, you're not. So, you're not a subscriber. Using a 
nature check. Do I know what this thing is? Uh, you would need to do a heal check. A Wait, heal check? Do you know you? what it is? Yes! It, it, it is... Oh, yeah, you are uh, a subscriber. It is an actual humanoid black squirrel. Is what was hiding, or which was hidden under the cover. Okay. Can I poke it with a stick? No. Kalani will try and wake up the squirrel. They do not wake up. Ugh, they're gonna make me do all the work, aren't they? Do I know what's wrong I with mean, it? I mean, no, because no one rolled a heal check yet. Alright, well, I'm gonna roll a heal check. Where is my heal thing? I think it's medicine, isn't it? Yeah, it's Kalani medicine. will do an arcana. That, yeah. Ah! I'm still next to Kato! It is her <laughs> fault! I did nothing! So. Rembrandt's the black cat, not you! Kalani is the Meow, 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 meow! <laughs> Pretty much what's going on right now. I think you all need hugs. So I'm gonna give Kato hugs. You find that essentially um, I move to smack you both. Essentially mechanics wise, she is at zero HP and stable. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, no, like, why did it just roll Cure Wounds? I don't know, because you clicked I... it. Yeah. I did. Alright, I clicked Cure Wounds. Is its wounds are cured? Question mark? You rolled a d20 with it, didn't you, at the same time? So I don't think that works. He rolled actual cure wounds. He got max roll. Give me a moment. Because <laughs> it just looks weird because they don't change the shape of the die that's being used. It does so. They are all very no, noticeably I mean... different. Oh, okay, yeah, never mind. Yeah, so. What the dodecahedron? Such a wonderful word, dodecahedron. <laughs> it is such a lovely. All right. The black squirrel is now starting to wake up. I'm gonna uh, offer it an egg. <laughs> May we offer an egg in these trying times? I'm gonna roll my truncated ISO kite. It's a zombie! Kill it! That would just blow up my ears. <laughs> it kind of did. Good lord. By the five air cords, who the hell are you? Who the hell are we? Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? You're the one in this cave! A lady asked you your name. It's polite to introduce yourself. And how do I know you're a lady? Can I poke you with a stick? I'm Queek. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you keep asking me if you can poke him, with, poke him with a stick. It's up to you to poke him with a stick or not. I poke him with a stick. I'm gonna snap his stick. I'm gonna whine about it later. <laughs> You're gonna snap it with a minus one to strength? <laughs> I mean, you can still break a stick with that. If you roll high I'll enough. I'll go suck an egg. Well, I'll offer that egg. <laughs> I still got like 20 eggs in my bag. I don't doubt it. I suppose you can. I'm wearing chainmail. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Oh, sorry. Ooh. You cut out at the end there. 
Either way, we're the ones rescuing you, so, you know, we're the ones ask, eh, asking the questions. Now, uh, what is your name? I am Rosalind. Yes, that's my You cut out at the end. Hello, Rosalind. Hello, Rosalind. What is What's your quest? Oh, God. If you ask me what's my favorite color next, I'm going to kick you in the teeth. <laughs> I was not but planning what if on I it. I want to know that. What's, what's your, your favorite letter of the alphabet? What is your least favorite color? Oh, my God. Would you like an egg? Yes, I would <laughs> like an egg. Ooh, I offered him an egg. I eat said egg. It's like, raw. Gnash it, but yeah. I'm gonna wave my arms in the air. Finally, someone eats my egg. Wait, Wait you didn't you lay this, those... did you? <laughs> it's best you it, don't ask. It is a bit small, consider all things considered. Hey, we all lay different sizes of eggs. Can't discriminate. Right, so I'm gonna go pillage those um, occultists' robes. Uh, Are we again? Gonna go check their robes for anything. Uh, you are uh, breaking out really bad. Me? No, Safanara. Rosalind, whichever. I said. Uh, anyway, yes. D d d what, what was the question again? I was just saying I'm going to go through the occultist robes for anything of value. Alrighty. Did you hear me that time, Sim? Uh, about what? I said, yes, where was the question again? And I really, really hurried. Where is the what now? What was the question again? Sorry, I'm trying to speak very fast. Yeah, your Discord's not liking that. <laughs> At all. Yeah, Probably said to push the talk or something. Hold it down while you talk fast. I, I am using push to talk, and that's the issue. I'm probably not, like, holding the button long enough. That's probably the reason, yeah. Mine's is, mine is voice activated. I would use voice activated, but I'm trying to be considerate to the stream. Hello, stream. My mic has What's a built-in mute button, so I just use that, and it's... <laughs> otherwise, Discord's at, like, no... It's basically con uh, always on. Uh, I just flipped mine mic up just like a centimeter and automatically turns it off. I would be doing that if I was using my headset microphone, but it's nowhere near as clear as my desktop one. Anyways, you'll probably get back to work. This uh, is work? Yeah. Damn. So yeah, second verse, same as the first. Repeat the question for all right, what are you doing here? I was um looking for work, and then I got ambushed and knocked out. I don't really remember too well. By the way, oh yeah, there were these weird, weird guys like in robes chanting. I don't like them very much. Okay, uh, check the stream chat. Fluter's got a uh, suggestion. As you are definitely releasing way too early. Bueller. 
Same milliseconds, so I'm not sure what to use. I would just turn it up quite a bit. I mean, there's no okay. real reason How not to. Ah, uh, that's better. I'll try speaking a full sentence. Yeah. Um, so, I think I was ambushed by some guys in ropes, and, yeah, I really don't like that very much. Where are they? Oh, there's uh, one over you mean, there. You mean these ones? Uh, there's the remains of another one over there. Uh, they had some other, uh, friends with them. Uh, th there's one there and one there. Uh, are those the ones? Oh. They don't seem very alive. Yeah, they're very unalive. I'm gonna poke one with a stick. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna join in with poking. Yeah. I guess technically he has two sticks since I broke. Two short sticks. We're both gonna poke a body. And I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna walk over to the red one and like lightly kick the body. All right, you kick the body. Nothing happens, except that you kicked it. I'm angry. I can be angry. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's true. You can be angry. So anyway, yeah, hi, I'm Rosalind. Um, hi, Rosalind. I'm kind of for hire. I don't suppose any of you know anywhere I can get a job, right? Uh, not really, but... You know, you. I guess you could come with us. I suppose. Ooh, new friend. Cool, that's great. I like this blue person. They gave me food. I like that. Food is great. Uh, Cleek, as you examine the two corpses, you find 14 gold pieces between the two of them. Cool. I'm gonna split it with the party. That's gonna be an odd split. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, so I take a little bit less. Uh, we do have our party inventory as well. That is true. Rick. Where we pull... Wait. Where did Shrek come from? It oh, is God. Shrek! He's, he, he's been there Shrek. for quite a while. No one's Shrek. ever gonna call it that. Copyright! Shreska. Come on! Shreska. No, it's Shrek! <laughs> Shrek! Shrek! <sighs> Lizards. Oh my. Also, you don't have the Final Fantasy VI Kafka laugh. Bird. No, I don't. I don't know what that is, and it hasn't been requested before. Oh, I might request it at some point then. I mean, technically, you as a subscriber get a uh, free sound effect that you can have added. Cool. We can uh, talk about that, like, later on when it's not D&D. Yeah. So, back on track. We found a total of 14 gold, right? Yes. So, each person gets two gold. Ooh, shiny coins. 
<laughs> Shiny coins. Oh yeah, Kato is no longer charmed. You sure? The dude is dead. I'm gonna scratch out his eyes. I mean, sure. I might be, I might be interested in in dead people. You never know. <laughs> what do you, what do you, what do you like to bring this cord with you? Just I mean, I'll take your I'll, shoulder. I'll take the head. That's gonna get rotten soon, though. That's fine. It it'll be stinky for intimidation. You're not bringing oh. that. Alrighty then. Hey, okay. you're not it in my bag. No, Kalani said no, and Kalani will hit me. Well, you hit harder. That is arguable. <laughs> I don't know. She hits pretty hard. Yes, but I can include spells with my uh, hits. She has a big axe. That, that still do half damage. That's not the, the no. half damage, but he has a lot more instances Force? where he can roll up. Force. If I get rage, uh, I'm I have resistance to every type of damage except for psych. Is that really how that works? Yep. Yeah. Bear totem. Oh, bear totem. That's still kind of ridiculous. Oh yeah, bear totem is totally broken and it's totally tanky, and that's why I love it. It's only broken low level. There's a lot of uh, stuff late game that just bypasses resistance. Oh yeah. Adamantine, for instance, just bypasses all physical resistances. Like, and hugs. And hugs. Anyways. We are so far off track. Uh, yeah. I vote that we, uh, close the door, since it hasn't been broken down, thankfully, and take a small rest before we, uh, continue on. I'm down. Uh, can I slice off one of the tiefling horns and make a pendant <laughs> up? Yes, you can. <laughs> Should I roll survival for that? Um, yes, because you might actually crush the horn instead. Well, at least you got two chances. You know, in, in one of my Adventures League games, there was this kid that decided to play a tiefling and, and kept trying. It, it, he was not following any of the rules, so I punished him by having him hanging from a pole by his horns. Because he specified ah. that they curled around partially like a, kind of like a goat's horn. A and so they were just like hooks that you could just, you know, hang him on a pole and he'd be stuck there. So anyway, just to, just to give like a brief overall physical description of my character. So Jetpack Squirrel. Um... She's pretty small, like really small. Um, she has like sit some on my sort shoulder. of. <laughs> she has like um, silver markings, um, like uh, like chevrons going up her nose uh, towards her head. She's wearing chainmail uh, and has a halberd and a warhammer on her back. Very huggable. Fancy. <laughs> <laughs> like she's armed to the teeth. Uh, no joke, like, I found out that like, freaking fighters get, like, four weapons level one. You get, like, your choice of two martial weapons, then you also get two throwing axes on top of it. So, like, those are hanging from her belt as well. So if you imagine, like, this tiny little, um... I think I said oh her to be, like, my. four foot tall squirrel. Like, just armed to the teeth. Oh, and she has violet eyes. <laughs> So she's bigger than Kato. Yeah, most likely. Size. 
Anyways, guys, you should use your uh, hit dice, you know? Since we've got this short rest here. What damage? <laughs> yeah, uh, Rosalind is actually only a inch taller than Kato. Ah, uh, yay! More small friends. The, but the heavier, which is funny. After short rest, or uh, hold on, give me a moment. Because I can do a thing. Oh, that's not it. There we go. Rest. You have me set to minus 23 HP, by the way. Uh, I was figuring we'd do a short rest to the, right now. Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. And no, it should have just been straight up 23, not negative. I never hit minus. Um, uh, well, yeah. I rolled the hit dice and I went to 13 for some reason. Yeah, that's how much health you have left to take care of of damage. Oh, yeah, I forget. It works in reverse. Yep. Uh, Cleek, do you need to go now? Cleek? Cleek! Bird brain! Freckles! <laughs> oh, he says he's still following. He has to walk the puppy. Ah. Uh -huh. So, okay. Alright, so now that we're done with this, uh, Rosalind, don't you have one more that you could use if you wanted? I do. Um, I thought it was per one hit dice per hour nope. of short rest. You can use as many as you want. You just regain half of them at a long rest. There we go. Wonderful. So anyway, what do I call you guys? I am Shreska. Hi, I'm Kato. I'm small and angry. <laughs> I'm very pettable. I am yeah, Captain... Yeah, I'd like to see you try. You may call me Captain Kalani. I'll get a pet Kato. <laughs> oh, you're, you're a soldier? A uh, guard of a, a high lord. Who is petting me? No one. <laughs> no one! <laughs> uh, Shreska. Shreska is trying to pet you. Um, <laughs> that That is a hit. I'm gonna, re I'm gonna cast a Hello Tribute on that. Um, <laughs> I mean, I was just hitting you without claws, so it was not to cause damage, but as a war. Um, I'll give Kalani a, uh, militaristic salute. And, uh, I mean, an actual proper one. Kalani will nod appreciatively. Before going over and smacking both Shreska and Kato upside the head. Look at the wine. <laughs> hey, look. She started it. And I'm finishing it. Grumbles and sulks in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> now, shall we continue? I guess. Good. Well, we shall head for the exit of these tombs or whatever. Wherever the hell we are. Uh, Aizen, a rapier is meant for dueling. 
Uh, usually when you're dueling, it's just uh, just the rapier. Also, I think um, he actually uses a shield with it. <clears throat> yeah, only he does. If you get the right, right, only if you get the right rapier. Because not all rapiers have the handguard. There are some... Yeah. Uh, Jewelists that use a what's known like a parrying knife or something like that, which they hold behind their back while they're wielding the rapier in one hand, but that's uh, completely different styles of fighting. Either way, it's a weapon that is not meant, it's not light enough, it doesn't have the light property uh, to be dual wielded. It's how they decided to balance the game. <laughs> <laughs> yep. At the end of the day, that's all that matters. But I do agree that a rapier could be used with a dagger. But either way. Oh, uh, that temp HP is not going to be there anymore. Because that was part of the shield thing. We are all healthy. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Take away my mana shield that I try to help my friends with. I have the lowest amount of health on our team. I oh. mean, mages, man. Mages who aren't meant to be frontline. So, Captain, um, I'm pretty good as a close range fighter, I use big, large weapons. Uh, where would you like me in the party order? What do you mean by large weapons? A two handed, <laughs> two handed <laughs> just, just... Um, ironic short joke. Um, no, I, um, uh, uh, she just pulls a uh, the halberd out from her back and um you are aware that you have dis have... you are aware that you have disadvantage on all the attacks with those why because you're a small size small size creatures have disadvantage on attacks with weapons that are that have the heavy property Which is most of the heavy hitting two handed weapons. It's fine. It's not fine. Strong squirrel. That doesn't overcome it. I disagree with the rule, but that is how it is. <laughs> We're on steroids. Uh, Fluter, we are still level 3, so none of us would have a feat unless we were playing the human variant, which is overpowered as a starting race, at least in 5th edition. But yes, uh, there are... Uh, Feats that would help. Yep. Yep. So, anyways, um, we might want to get you some better weapons than Rosalind. Unfortunately, I have no other weapons. Kato gonna... hands Rosalind her smaller axe. <laughs> I actually have... I can actually have something I can... I have, I have throwing a axes, it's fine. I was going to say, yeah, I have a dagger. I have a I... battle axe that doesn't have the heavy property. <laughs> really? Yeah, I've got a battle axe and a large great axe. Yeah. 
It's only the battle axe only has the versatile property, so. Anyways, we are heading out. Yes? No? Maybe? Yeah, I think we're heading out. I mean, I'm down. Oh, I agree. Alright, uh, that's on you, Rise Roth. We're heading for the exit. Alright. You guys head for the exit, and there's nothing stopping you. Alright. So, now we're back outside? Yep. Well, good. Yay, now we're not we being in a scary place anymore. <laughs> I don't like the scary place. Kato spreads out in the sun. Hey, 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 guys. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hello. That's who! Ew. Nope. The entire party takes that much damage split. I'm gonna use mold water and shove it back in his nose. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I don't have that. I'm gonna use no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess we need the world map up. I guess we need to roll shower checks. You mean this map? No. That, that's a no, no. Just no. It's the world map. No. You're a world map. Why, Are thank we, you. Okay, we have no idea where we're supposed to go from here. Do you want to retcon something here, uh... Riseroth, or... Because I don't think we were ever told where to go or anything. Oh, yeah. That that might be a problem. <laughs> um, yeah, I would have to retcon that to uh, have you guys meet him at the... Uh, At Kintal. Where? Kintal. Oh. South of the Ellery. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. We'll head for Ellery first, obviously. Then to Kintal, unless anybody has another idea. Nope, sounds good to me. I still need to find my Toby. Where's my Toby, Rise of Roth? I don't know yet. Where's my Toby? <laughs> we're, we're right here next to a forest. They like the forest. Maybe they like to the swamp more. Toby. Have you seen my Toby? If you're hmm. looking for upper squirrels, they live all the way over in the uh, east. No, no, I want mean, Toby. <laughs> I want my Toby. They're both the same thing. They're both the I wanna, same. I want to roll to see if I just have a sudden knowledge check about whatever he's talking about, where they might. Sure. Roll a nature. Nope. 
You do not. <laughs> oh, I tried. What is this mythical creature you speak of? Yeah, I've never seen it or heard of it. Well, you see, in the ancient texts of the uh, Spellblade, they speak of these companions to Spellblades that uh, are rather rare, but they do tend to enjoy living in forests, and I, I want to try and seek one out. Hogwash, you can't believe anything that says. They're called dogs. And yet, it has created the magic I use to keep you alive. Whether by oh. killing them or by shielding you. Queek squints at you. Am I a joke to you? Quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's how much of a joke you are. <laughs> I mean Queek is a chocobo. Oh, I am. Basically, yeah. You realize that I might have to have the uh, artist redraw this just to turn you into a chocobo. Oh, God. <laughs> but I and like then whenever, And then whenever it's his turn, it's Kwe. Does that mean that we get to have around? Does that mean that we get to have Kleek pull the cart? <laughs> the cart is Shrek. Use his proper name. We just get the whole picture redone to make us all feral for him. You said anything about that? Well, I think now would be a good time to have a break. Oh, I see how it is. Yes. Well, very well. Thank you all so much for joining us. We will be back in a few minutes after our intermission. Um, I, I uh, forgot to update this, so one moment. And then I will change over to the proper thingamajigger. You know, the thing that does the stuff, and the things, and the other stuff, and there.
All right, everybody. Uh, thank you all so much for joining us this evening for Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, unfortunately, we've decided to go ahead and... Wait a sec. Oh, okay. It is Rikon. Okay. For, so for some reason, I thought I misspelled your name, Ryzeroth, or the one that you <laughs> used. I thought it said Brycock, and I'm like, uh... <laughs> Anyways! Uh, we've got somebody that needs to leave, so we're gonna go ahead and end the stream here. Um... Gain of hearts? <sighs> do it! Do it! You can do it! I guess I'm going back to Kingdom Hearts tonight. So, stick around. I will be doing Kingdom Hearts in just a minute. Thank you guys for joining us, and we'll be right back. You guys can bye, say bye. 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 Love you.